Uh, look at this. Azure Set 1. The first Azure Set built. Not the first one in service, but the first one that was built. How about we go to Barry Ucam, take a metro ride. And you can tell it's Set 1 because of these two numbers right here, those two digits. So right now it is, uh, just so you know, Monday, February 6, 2023, at 7.42 p.m. Prochaine station, Jarry. Definitely wasn't expecting to catch set one tonight and of course it was set two that was the very first set put into service the first azure set not set one but this was the first one built take a ride to uh, bury you can here on the orange line and i'll switch over to the green it's actually a pretty good night for content because I saw an incredible sight tonight. Uh, near the, where the Uville shops are located, there's a window looking right inside. And guess what I saw? It was the MR63 vacuum train right ahead of me, staring right at me the, through the window. And I saw at least a back portion of it, but what made it even cooler? was the red lights were lit up, the uh, red lights in the back were illuminated. So tonight, definitely good for content. Very satisfied, especially since I'm battling a bit of a head cold here. Instead of taking it to Barry, I'll take it right to Lino Gru, why not? Because the orange line's typically quieter than the green line and it's it makes it more fun to film, you know? Here on Azure set number one. Yeah, after seeing that Metro vacuum, everything else tonight is just a bonus. <laughs> I mean that's that made my that made my month. Even though we're only a few days in. In fact that even made my year so far, even though we're only two months in. Not even. February. Oh, wow, that's uh, that was a surprise. And I most likely uploaded that video already if you're watching this one. I uh, recorded it in the form of a short. So it gets even more views. Okay. Jean Talon Metro Station, what sets that? Set 31. Heading north back towards Montmorency. We are heading towards Kofa too. Getting off at Lino Brew. I was not expecting to see that tonight. I took the train, uh, the Muscoosh line, took a detour trip to... It's going to take it to Sauvé, got off at a Huntsik station instead. And just by fate, just by luck. Oh, wow, that's deadheading. Haha, <laughs> look at that, man. Bonus. Yeah, just by luck, I happened to walk by... The route I decided to take happened to walk by the Uville shops. Right before I got to Kremizy station and looked through the window that I remembered looking through last time I was there. Didn't see much last time. But this window, I don't even know if it was the same one. It could have been a bit further down than the last one. Looked inside and hey, there's the vacuum train. Uh, but yeah, you talk about luck. Well, you know what? It's probably there all the time. Just happened to see it tonight. But uh, yeah, man. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I got uh, I got that tonight, and 
got a couple of other cool pictures of the moon. Tonight's the snow moon, full moon of February. Beautiful orange tint to it as it was rising in the south southeast. Who knows what else we'll see tonight. South direction now, but once we get to Barry, we'll be right after Barry, we'll be turning westward. Station There's Rosemont Metro Station, very plain metro station, but I like it in the Rosemont district of Montreal. If you want to translate it loosely, uh, Purple Mountain. Rose is, uh, I believe in French, translates to pink, and Mont is uh, short for mountain. You wonder, you know, when they name these, well, not the metro station, I think the metro station is based on the neighborhood. Or they were naming a neighborhood or the streets, whatever, Rosemont. Maybe whoever named it that saw a sunset or a sunrise with Mount Royal because we're pretty close to Mount Royal the actual mountain in the center of the city maybe they saw like a pink hue or pink color in the sky near, uh, near the mountain and that's why they called it Rosemont Sort of like Côte d'Age. Côte d'Age translates to snowy, snowy coast or snowy road. And uh, if you think about it, that's, uh, you know, Côte d'Age goes right near Mount Royal. Literally on the coast of Mount Royal. And when it snows, well, it's a snowy road or snowy coast, Côte d'Age. So all these names and terms definitely have uh, meaning in them, you know? There's that pattern I see often on the metro. I don't know if it's a pressure washer or something. Interesting pattern. Yeah, so Mont Royal is uh, Royal Mountain, which is what well, Montreal is named after. You got Mont Royal and then you have Montreal. Mont Royal means Mont Royal and Montreal is about the city that we're in now, filming. Of course, Mont Royal Station is where they got those new entrances, new elevators. Right there. Looks like they're still doing some finishing touches, some finishing renovations. Set this is. Would it be fitting if we see set 71? Well, on set number one, set 71 being the last dessert set built, set one being the first. This is set, uh, what is this? Set, set 26. Really cool to be on set one. Thank you to my fans. Uh, better thank you to my subscribers, my viewers, for uh, getting me to 3,000 subscribers. Really nice milestone. Next one will be 5,000, 10,000. Uh, of course, the crown jewel will be 100,000. That's when uh, you get the Google Play silver plaque. Or 3% uh, <laughs> of the way there. <laughs> Better train than any, I think. 
7.52 p.m., so rush hour is uh, pretty much over, but service is still slowing down for the night as the night goes on, unless, unless metro trains are in service. There's Sherbrooke. So Sherbrooke is, of course, one stop before Barry you can, which I was planning to get off at, but I decided I'll stay on to Lino Grew, make a bit longer video. I want to check out the track details. There it is. Did film in the Cremesy, but at Cremesy Metro Station there's an event, a ventilation shaft, and there's some water that was leaking from the ventilation shaft, which has been like that for years. Well, it was leaking right on the tracks, right on the third rail, the electric rail. Didn't see any effect or anything, no sparks. That would have been cool to see. But you think, you know, water coming into contact with electricity, it would be, think it'd be something, you know, a spark or sound. Is that a new ventilation shaft? Just saw it at the corner of my eye. Station Berry Yep. If I wanted to, I could switch to the green line right now. Get to the southwest that way, but now nah, I'm going to stay on and film. What sets this? Uh, it's 32. Like I said, man, if we could see set 71, while well, filming set one, it'd be really cool. So, there's still a chance, because there's only Azure trains on this line, the orange line. If you're on the green line, you have a mix of Azures and MR 73s. So there goes set 32. This is where I saw the other night an MR-73 deadheading actually on the orange line. Not in service, just deadheading. These tracks coming up here, you'll see it. It's a tunnel that goes right to the green line and whatnot. No trains there now, but right there. Yeah, it goes to the green line, the yellow line, all that fun stuff. All right, Shop the Mars is next, so now we are making a turn and we're going to be going there's the turn coming up you can see the train focus here the train's turning it's heading west now on this curve deviating from the south direction we were going in and now we're officially heading west the beauty of the orange line station Champ de Mars you think about it, the orange line goes in every direction. At uh, some point, if you take the line, it'll eventually go north, south, east, and west. It makes like a U-shape. Very cool design. Practical. And of course, this is old Montreal here, as well as the next station, which is... Plaz Darm. Champ de Mars basically means battlefield in French. Plaz Darm is, well, place of arms, the armory. You can tell these are battle names because, well, this is where they, back in the, the old days, hundreds, hundreds of years ago, they had the armories here, and I guess the barracks, the soldiers, and all that stuff. Back in the old days of Mont old Montreal. Oh, it's good I'm getting some content because I was running low on content for a while. Probably upload this later this week. Spread it out a bit, you know. Don't want to upload too much at once. I had that very cold weekend uh, where I actually Friday is when that cold front moved in that arctic vortex they call it it's just a cold front but very cold it was minus 40 degrees celsius with the wind I think 
same temperature Fahrenheit minus 40 Fahrenheit Let's see what setness is so uh, basically what happened Friday there set six another early set so set six basically means it was a six set built So yeah, Friday there was a fire, uh, fire Friday evening, a fifth alarm fire, very, that's basically the highest level of fire there is. Started in the morning, but, started in the morning, but I, it was still burning at night. I got a video of that, posted it on my channel, and that's uploaded, and then Saturday. Station Square Victoria, OAC. Saturday, I can't remember what I did. Sunday uh, is when I started feeling symptoms of that head cold and uh, decided to stay indoors Sunday all day. Didn't even go out yesterday. And today, Monday, well, went to work and uh, yeah, feeling feeling better. Got a good night rest. Guys, uh, you can hear I'm still congested. But, uh, you know. Square Victoria it used to be known as simply Square Victoria, now it's Square Victoria OSC. Uh, OSCE or OACI is the Aviation uh, Association that's here, Worldwide Aviation Association. Or very important thing in terms of aviation sort of like the UN but for the the uh, the airlines or the the airs the airways I think they determine the flight paths and basically everything they do with international flight Inter international aviation association or something Here's Bonaventure, which is, of course, where Central Station is located, as well as one of the entrances to the Bell Center, and uh, Terminus Centreville, which is the main bus terminus for Montreal. <laughs> Got uh, RTL Exo buses there. By the way, these signs are quite old. These barriers, blue ones. Station, Lucien Lallier. All right, Lucien Lallier coming up. Also, uh, Exo. There's an Exo train station with the same name just upstairs. <laughs> and when we get to Lino Crew in a couple of stops, I'll get a nice shot of the train departing. I'm going to call it a night, go home, rest. Oh, what set is this? Lucien set 27. Station Lucien Lallier. You know, I find set 71's more easier to catch than set 1. On the Azures. So Lucien Lallier, of course, this is where we have some exo trains formerly known as the AMT. And, uh... Is that an alarm or something? Oh, I know what that alarm is. I know exactly what that alarm is. Somebody went to try to go through the exit on the other side, which is the emergency exit. Somebody tried to exit through here, this side. Clearly marked emergency exit, but I can understand how people could get confused because, you know, even though it's marked, you don't usually have that in a metro station like that. <laughs> Losing my voice again. I wonder where that emergency exit leads to, though. I have to try to trace it somewhere. Check on the map. So, Georges Vanier, this is a very seldom used station. One of the, I think, with De La Savane, this is one of the least used stations in the the network. Somebody suggested on a transit server that I'm on the Discord transit server, also known as a basically a chat room if you want to call it that for 
older older generations. Um, they suggested somebody there suggested extend the path here, extend an exit to Saint Jacques Street under the highway. That would be brilliant. Extend this station. Extend the pathway to uh, Saint Jacques Street, just to the north. Natural usage will go up big time, I'm sure, or at least somewhat. That little path that goes to the Vimont, I think it's called the Vimont maintenance shop. Little tail track that connects to the green line as well. Towards Charlevoix. All right, we're getting off here, but we're gonna get a nice view of the train leaving. Set one. Station Lionel Gouin. Group. One of the busiest stations here in the network. So I've got a shot of it here leaving. It's good old set one. As I said, if you always are curious what the set is, it's the two digits after the 10. So in this case, it would be 01. That's the car number six. All right, so thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Goodbye, set one. And uh, as I'll say, more videos to come. Have a good night, everybody.